went back to the bank and picked up another box. So let's go ahead and open it up. Here's one side, and there's the other. Nothing standing out, so let's go ahead and start on the first roll. Three rolls in, and look at this 1941. 1941 plane in very nice condition. Put that one aside. Can't see anything else, so on to our next roll. All right, roll number six, and here's a 1946. No mint mark. Kind of the color of a war nickel, but obviously the year after. This is 64. Really rusty. 80s. And let's see what the next roll has. A couple rolls later, and here is a 1949. And it's going to be a Denver. So that's three. And let's get into the next. A couple rolls later, and here's a 1946. No mint mark. So that makes four, and really dark one, 87. On to the next. A few rolls later, and we have another 1941. This one looks a little bit different. This one is an S mint, a little bit different than that one. Such a nice coin. 54, and on to the next. Next roll, and we have a 1947. This one's a Denver Mint, so that's six. There's a 60, and on to our next roll. A couple rolls later, and here's another 1941. Seems to be the popular one of these boxes. Add it to the pile, and let's check out the next roll. All right, 11 rolls left, and I see a silver. 1943p. So put that over there, and we got a Canadian. 98. So nice silver. And it looks like it's a long. So on to the next. All right, we have four rolls left, and here's a 1946. No mint mark. That makes seven. This one could be older. 54. All right. On to the next. Not that many left. All right, done with the box, and here's what we found. We ended up with seven old Jeffersons, actually eight, nine, uh, 1949 plane, nope, 1946 plane, 1947 Denver, 1941S, 1941 plane, 1949 Denver, 1946 plane, and a 1946 plane. We had a really nice 1941 plane. We had a silver war nickel, 1943p and a Canadian 1998 so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe